Because of its anthology nature, Goosebumps featured a ton of actors across its four seasons. Some of those kids wanted to make pretty big names for themselves, so let's look at five Goosebumps actors who became famous. One of the main characters in Night of the Living Dummy 3 is Zane, the cowardly cousin of Trina and Daniel. Kind of ironic that the guy who did this... Here! Kick me again! Kick me, come on! I dare ya! ...would go on to play a character like this. Yep, before becoming Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars franchise, Hayden Christensen was being terrorized by Slappy. Say what you will about his role in the Star Wars films, but Christensen did a pretty good job as the easily scared Zane. Maybe he should come back now that Goosebumps is getting a new TV series, but it would probably go something like this. Don't you get it? I'm invincible! Remember Greg from Say Cheese and Die? This is him now. <laughs> yep, Golden Globe award-winning actor Ryan Gosling got his career started in Goosebumps. He only made one appearance in the episode Say Cheese and Die, but it was a pretty good one. There was a sequel to Say Cheese and Die, but for whatever reason, Ryan Gosling wasn't available for the role, so someone else had to play his character. Huh, I'm noticing a pattern. Both Hayden Christensen and Ryan Gosling's characters took pictures on cameras in their episodes. Eh, it's probably nothing. Hayden Christensen wasn't the only Night of the Living Dummy actor to go on and have a successful career. Katarina Scorson, who played Sarah in Night of the Living Dummy 2, has done pretty well for herself. Since Goosebumps, Scorson has starred in a number of TV films and shows, but she's probably best known for playing Amelia Shepard in Grey's Anatomy and its spin-off, Private Practice. In fact, she's still a part of the series and has been a member of the main cast since season 11. Now if only Slappy can make a guest appearance. Hey, Sarah! Wanna play? Oh my god. Say Cheese and Die must just be the lucky episode. In addition to Ryan Gosling, Teen Choice Award nominee Scott Speedman also appeared in it. When Gray's friend Sherry goes missing, the police arrive to question Gosling's character. The officer is played by Scott Speedman, who would go on to star in a ton of TV and film projects. His most notable work includes playing Ben in Felicity and Michael Corbin in the Underworld franchise. Funny enough, like Katarina Scorson, he also appeared on Grey's Anatomy, although I don't think he was in the hospital because of a haunted camera. Okay, let's break up this Night of the Living Dummy slash Say Cheese and Die streak we accidentally found ourselves on. The season 2 episode, Don't Wake Mummy, stars AJ Cook as Kim, who enjoys pranking her younger brother. While Cook only made it into one episode, her career is still pretty extensive. She's appeared in the Final Destination series and has a main role on the CBS drama Criminal Minds as JJ. Outside of acting, AJ was featured in Maximum Magazine and was ranked 88 in their Hot 100. She also became a spokeswoman for the skincare brand Proactive, which isn't too surprising considering she has a history of combating dry skin. Thanks for watching. Hit the annotation to check out some more videos on the Nightmare Field Entertainment channel. Also, if you have an idea for a list, let me know in the comments. Until the next video, I'm Zach, and have a spooky day.